go ahead and take an actual look at a print we did with the half tones from our Simple Seps plugin. You would see that we're holding a lot of detail. In fact, I'd go ahead and say that this is a high end design. You can see the detail in this print. Incredible fashion design. Here we have our black film printing out. Everything auto separated in Simple Seps, half tones generated automatically, then printed right out to your black film on an inkjet. Here we are washing the screen out, able to hold all those dots on a 230 mesh screen. Here we are setting up the t-shirt and going ahead and printing. You'll see that we're holding all of our dots. Very high quality, high detail, half tone printing without a $500 or $1,000 rip. And right now, Simple Seps comes with the Mega Pack 1 from t-shirtcliparc.com. That's over 500 hand-drawn monochrome design elements. You can go ahead and start creating and separating with half tones, high-end designs that have the type of look you see on the retail stores and on the shelves today that the kids go crazy over in the high schools. Very easily and very simply with the art and the Simple Steps plugin. Blow your clients away before your competition does with the Simple Steps plugin and the monochrome art. Thank you for taking time to view our Simple Steps version 1.2 demo. You know we released Simple Steps version 1 a few weeks ago. And we thought of some things after the fact that we really wanted to incorporate and we got some feedback some from, from some users. So we made some changes to the system and now Simple Steps really is far more robust and powerful than it was even in version 1. And the only way to really see how powerful this particular plugin is is to go through all of the tutorials. Now I guarantee you that if you go through these tutorials, whether you buy Simple Steps or not, you will pick up information relating to managing spot colors, printing with half tones, creating your own scripts and photo paint. That's right, we've got a tutorial in, in the series there that will show you how to create a custom trapping and choking script in photo paint. Really change the way you work. So not only are these tutorials in our training series about simple steps, but they're also full of good information that whether you buy simple steps or not, you're going to walk away with a lot of good information that can change the way you work. Go ahead and open up our Simple Steps 1.2 here. I'll bring this right up here and you can see we've got some changes here. Color management has changed significantly. We've got some new buttons here. We've also got control over tinted palettes. You control the from and to range now and the increments of how those tinted palettes are created based on what's going on in your shop. Very powerful feature. We all know that we get up into the 90s, we don't really hold those dots. We get down below 15 and 10. They're too small, we can't hold those either. And like I said, up above in the 90s, where those holes are going to fill in, we can't hold them. So we create our, our palettes and we do our conversions based on control of our tints of color. And you can see that throughout the tutorial, the way in which we use our tinted palettes. It's the same replace and selection functions. And we've got some, uh, we've got a new one click conversion here, very powerful tool. So we'll take a look at this briefly here in the demo. And then you can go ahead and get into, I believe there's 10 or 12 new tutorials, all of them very relevant information. Whether you're using simple steps or not, you're going to pick up a lot of powerful tips and tricks that are going to expediate your workflow, reduce errors, and change the way you work. So we'll go ahead and we'll minimize this. We'll go to page two here. And we can see we've got a lumberjacks graphic here. Worked with him a lot. Go ahead and click on this, got everything selected, go to color management tab, create color palette now to reduce our colors. We can see we're not going to be able to create spot colors with these and we've got 16 colors to work with. Got to bring this down for the client. So we'll go ahead and click off show color names. You notice I can select multiple colors here. Get my black, brown, red, white, and my golden yellow. Come down here to one click conversion. I'm going to change my increments to two just so we get a little bit of color matching in our conversion. And we'll do a one-click conversion here, and that'll process. We'll select OK, and you can see now that I've got my graphic set up with my tinted palette, set up with ranges that are within the scope of the half tones and dots I can hold in my shop. These tinted palettes are very powerful tools for managing the full spectrum of colors that you have available within the constraints of the limited number of spot colors we work with in screen printing projects and screen printing design. If I want to change, perhaps, the lightness of my shirt, I can come over here, click on that color, which I believe is right here, go to replace, I've got to select fill or outline here, I'll select fill and outlines, go to replace, go to palettes, got my selected palette here, I'm going to go ahead and click on my brown and bring that down a bit to something like that, select OK, and you can see now I've changed lightness of that shirt. Very high speed color control management with a full spectrum of colors we have available even when we're dealing with limited palettes. We have a special tutorial on overprinting. You won't want to miss that. Very powerful tutorial on how to use overprinting in Corel Draw to pull multiple colors out of small spot color jobs in Corel Draw. Now that this is all set up for separation, all I need to do to go to Simple Steps here, I'll click on Generate One, 
white base. I'll go ahead and select my choke at one point, set my registration marks to center line. I'm not going to do any raster conversion, so I'm not going to bother with my half tones now. If I wanted to do a half tone, I could do that. Click on half tones and set this up. I would get half tones. I could print directly out of Corel Draw. We've got a tutorial also to show you how that works and how to do that. But we'll just go ahead and create our separations here to get started. Click on generate separations. Get a warning here, depending on the complexity and number of objects in my graphic, it take a few minutes to process. And we'll select, select OK here. And we'll process our color separations and our choked white base almost immediately directly in CorelDRAW. We're going to eliminate opportunities for human error in these separations. Now what's the benefit of having our plates automatically set up in Draw? Well, I can go through and I can tweak what's going on with my plates and review them before I print my separations. If I take this white base setup as a monochrome bitmap and it's 100% black. If I go ahead and copy this and I come back here to page 2 and I paste this in, you can see that I will have a perfect white base set up automatic, automatically for me coming off of my untinted underbase. And if we zoom in here, we'll be able to take a look at that and see how our trap came. Of course, excuse me, our choke. Of course, we don't underbase our black and our black is does not have any underbase on it, and we've got some nice choke in here. And we can customize that choke based on what we want to do. So, very powerful tools to get our work done and manage the full spectrum of opportunity we have with colors relating to spot colors in Corel Draw on the fly. Just in case you're wondering, I know the Lumberjacks is a pretty simple graphic, but we'll take a look here at a very difficult graphic to work with, and we'll convert that to spot colors in a matter of seconds here. I'll go ahead and zoom out here. You can see we've got a very complex design here, a lot going on with this dessert, this dirt design. I'm going to go ahead and select everything here, and we can see we've got 497 objects. So if I come into my Simple Steps Color Management, and I click on Create Palette, I'm going to see that I've got 64 colors, 69 colors, and tints. That's not going to work, but I can look at my design, take a zoom in here, and I can see the colors that I'm going to need. Is I'm going to need a black, a white, a red, and I can come through, through here and just pick a couple of colors, a green and a blue. We'll grab this here. And what I'll do is I'll come down to one click conversion. I'm going to set my increments to one for this one. And I'll come down to one click conversion and I'll reduce the number of colors in this design down to these five colors and then preserve the look of the graphic using tints. Now we're going from from 15 to 85, so I know I'm not going to get any tints in my graphic that's going to produce any halftones that I can't hold in my shot. So I've got control over my halftones here also when I make this conversion. Very powerful functionality for managing halftone and spot colors in Corel Draw. One click conversion, and we'll let that process, and we'll see that our tinted palette will be automatically generated. So I'll have a tinted palette I can work from to go ahead and tweak this if I need to after we finished processing and converting this down to five spot colors based on tints and half tones. And once that's finished, Corel will give me a pop up here. 497 objects processed, 475 fills and 45 outlines replaced. Select OK. Go ahead and move this tinted palette over here and you can see that we really didn't lose anything relating to the color in our design but yet now we're down to five colors and 43 tints according to simple steps. And all I need to do is go ahead and create my separations and put a base together for this. But we can also go and replace our colors very easily. Let's say I want to replace the dirt here with a red on the fly. I've got a number of objects here in this particular graphic here. If I want to replace this with the red, I can go to my tinted palette. I know I'm going to be in the right colors here. Just left click, fill that, and now that's replaced with a red as you can see there. So. Very powerful functionality. Well, as I said in the demo here, you're really not going to get an idea of the full power of working with simple steps and how much time and money it's going to save you, how much it's going to radically improve the quality of designs you're able to produce within Corel Draw using spot colors, working with the tinted palettes, and the tools and functions and training that we provide in the tutorial. So if you've got the time, go ahead and take it to look at the tutorials. I guarantee you, whether you buy simple steps or not, you're going to pick up some excellent tips and tricks along the way, especially the tutorial in there that we do the photo paint scripting. We show you how to build your own automated scripts, not in CorelDRAW, but in photo paint. So thank you for the time. Thank you for reviewing. And we'll see you in our tutorial series for Simple Steps version 1.2.